for many of us, uh, celebrating All Saints is kind of like a sweet and sour feeling, right? Uh, in one hand, we celebrate our call to be saints, and, and we're able to celebrate this through baptism. Baptism grants us that great opportunity of becoming part of this family of God, where we are all called to be saints. We celebrate that as a community, as church, as we acknowledge those who have been baptized, those who share their call to, to, to sainthood through, with us. On the other hand, we celebrate also those who have passed away, those who had gone a little bit forward to home. And this, this celebration of death theme seems probably a little bit awkward. Sometimes when we talk about death, that brings, that brings a little bit of uh, messiness. That, leaves, that brings a little bit of pain as well. Because as we remember those who have passed away, we remember how much we love them. We remember how much we miss them. Sometimes we tend to avoid talking about death. Sometimes we tend to understand death as a negative thing. Something that we don't want to talk about because we don't want to expose ourselves to pain or suffering. I was talking to the kids about this two ways of understanding death, right? A quite frightening one and a fun, not frightening one. How can we understand, how can we make the process of understanding death as something like this to understanding as something like this? That's a tough process to go through. But the, I think that the right way to go is faith. We don't have to be ashamed about being frightening or about being in pain when we talk about death. Today's gospel gives us this story that's very striking. I mean, chap verse 35 of this gospel gives us an image of Jesus in the most humane way. And it says, Jesus wept. Jesus cries when he acknowledged Lazarus' death. I mean, and we're talking about the Son of God here. We're talking about the man that's going to bring him back to life. And even so, he felt pain. The important theme here is not to stay in that pain. Not to acknowledge pain as an end or as a... Or as a or as a point to be or to get, but to recognize death as a path, as a thing that we have to, to, a thing that we need to have to go through in order to get to the life theme that Jesus ends up talking by bringing Lazarus back to life. The richness thing that we as a congregation experience by learning from other cultures of how do they understand death is that that gives us an opportunity to look for ways to express our own way of understanding death. For two years now, we have experienced through the Day of the Dead celebration a remembrance theme, an opportunity to remember those who lo we love so much and that have blessed us so much with their presence here by sharing their time and life with us. And this is an opportunity to remember them and to say, God, we thank you for that. And we remember them with joy and with hope that they're through the process of gaining the life that he promised. We are all called to experience death in order to gain life. Death to life, is a, it seems like it doesn't make sense, but that's, the, that's precisely the way that Jesus exposed himself to death in order to grant life to each one of us. 
Through death we lived. As we remember those loved ones, as we acknowledge those saints and ourselves as saints, let us rejoice that even in death we find hope and joy. In Jesus' name we pray. Well, this is light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This is light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This is light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. And every day, every day, every day, every day, every day, every day, I let my little light shine. Oh, Jesus gave me light, I'm gonna let it shine. Oh, Jesus gave me light, I'm gonna let it shine. Jesus gave me light. I'm gonna let it shine every day, every day, every day.